Brothers and sisters, having a good intention in our life to do something good, always thinking about something good, not to think about something evil, is something itself is an action in our heart, in our mind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who uh, knows our ins and out, He always look at our heart, how clean it is, how pure it is. And sometimes when we have a very good intention, a strong will to do something good, right, something righteous, either in our matter of our relationship with Allah or any good things, doing good to somebody else, some kind of good things, idea come in our mind and we are uh, planning, we have a strong will to do so, but we could not do it. Something happened. It's still good intention will secure our reward from Allah. And that came in hadith compiled by Imam Muslim Rahmanullah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man hamma bi hasanatin wa lam ya'malha kutibat lahu hasana. Whosoever intended to perform a good deed, but did not in the end, something uh, could not, uh, something came, he need to change his uh, plan, he could not do it. But because of the strong will he had, and a good plan he had, Allah will write down for him the reward of the whole deed, as if he has performed it. So having a good intention itself is a big ibadah. And having a bad intention to do something, commit which is bad, which is evil, which is sinful. You have a strong will, you have a desire to fulfill, you are planning, you, are, you started of, you know, uh, of implementing but could not implement. You will be given sins as if you have committed it. And that's why four people's example came in a hadith. Prophet ﷺ narrated to us, مَثَلُ هَذِهِ الْأُمَّةَ كَمَثَلِ أَرْبَعَةِ النَّفَرِ This nation of mine, they have, they have the example of four people. رَجُلٌ آتَاهُ اللَّهُ مَالًا وَعِلْمًا A man, Allah has given him good amount of knowledge and wealth as well. A rich man and a wise man. He has wisdom and wealth. فَهُوَ يَعْمَلُ بِعِلْمِهِ فِي مَالِهِ يُنْفِقُهُ فِي حَقِّهِ he is very good of his knowledge to utilize uh, for good purpose and his wealth to spend in all good causes for his and his family's own good needs to fulfill and giving huge amount of charity, helping those who are in need. So day and night he is spending his wealth in very good causes, good purposes because he is a wise man, he has good knowledge and wealth. He is the first one. The second one, وَرَجُلٌ أَعْتَاهُ اللَّهُ عِلْمًا وَلَمْ يُؤْتِهِ مَالًا So second person, Allah has given him good knowledge, good wisdom, but he is a poor man. He does, doesn't have all this wealth uh, to spend. And he sees this, this, this wise man who is rich, he's doing so much good deeds, so much charity works. So the second man says, I wish Allah could be giving me wealth like him, so I'll be doing same way, many good things, using, utilizing my money for all these good causes. I wish Allah could be, if he was giving me all this. So then Prophet ﷺ said, because of this wish, a good will, a strong will, فَهُمَا فِي الْأَجْرِ سَوَاءٌ Both of them are, will be equal to Allah in getting reward. Second man is achieving reward because of this good intention. The third man, The third one, Allah has given him huge amount of wealth, very rich man, but he is deprived of the knowledge. Guidance from Allah, from his Lord. How to utilize this money in good causes? فَهُوَ يَخْبِطُ فِي مَالِهِ وَيُنْفِقُهُ فِي غَيْرِ حَقِّهِ He is using all this wealth in very wrong causes. You know, 
uh, and he is committing so much sin utilizing this money. He's enjoying the life in bad way. So of course he's securing so much sins added to his good his his book of amal. He's committing sin utilizing this money wealth given by Allah. The fourth one sees that. The fourth one is a poor guy. He has no knowledge, not guided by Allah. He said, I wish I could have money, so I'll be enjoying the life the way this man does. If I get money, I will be really enjoying like him. So Prophet said about him, thus, you know, Fahuma fil wazri sawa'un. The fourth one is getting same kind of sins because of his intention and the will of committing so much sin is like the third one. So you can imagine how important is our intention, keeping always a good mindset, having a good heart of planning something do, to do good in our life. And that's why many of the Salafi Salihim said, Aniyatu ibadatul qalb. The heart has ibadah, and that is pure intention, niya. And that's why the hadith came, Inna wal amalu bin Indeed, the actions are judged by the intention. Some of the action you could not do, it is already uh, rewarded or other way, as if it is the action. And you do some good action even, but you have something bad intention in your mind, you give a lot of charity to show it off, riya, soma'a, name and fame, this is finished. All this good work is destroyed by the heart's bad intention. And that's why to have a clean heart is very important. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَوْ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَطَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ The day when there will not benefit anyone, wealth or children, but only one who comes to Allah with a sound heart, with a clean heart, with a pure heart. Heart has so much ibadah, salah, fasting, the physical one, but we have all these are linked with the hearts, with the heart one. The heart is, is the ibadah of heart is very important. And that's why in a hadith when he was asked, who is best among the people, O Prophet of Allah? He said, Khairun nasi dhul qalb al mahmum wal lisan sadiq the best among the people is the one whose, whose heart is pure and his tongue is true. Truthful tongue and clean heart owner. He is the best one among the people. Then he was asked, who is, has a, who is the owner of al qalb al mahmum clean heart? He said, who the one who has taqwa, fear of Allah, consciousness about Allah in his heart, and he is clean of many dirty things, plans, uh, 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 keeping him, his heart is pure from all other wrong stuff. Whose heart is pure and tongue is truthful, it was said, okay, so it is that which is Allah uh, consciously clean, taqwa, taqi means which is Allah conscious, conscious of Allah and clean, sinless, la ithma fihi, wala baghiya wala hasad, and has no transgression, no injustice, no envy or jealousy. So heart has two things. One is to fear, have fear of Allah. Other one is having all uh, uh, other wrong things when come to the heart. Jealousy, hatred, and all this ill feeling about people all this in the heart. Heart has a big role in our righteous deed, in our sins. And that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, real taqwa hahuna. Here is a taqwa, he is indicating to his heart three times. I mean taqwa is not our physical actions. I mean taqwa is here, fear of Allah, consciousness about Allah. And one of the things will pollute our heart is a jealousy. 
That's why he said in a hadith, إِيَّاكُمْ الْحَسَدِ فَإِنَّ الْحَسَدَ يَأْكُلُ الْحَسَنَاتِ كَمَا تَأْكُلُ النَّارِ الْحَطَبِ Be aware of envy, because envy consumes, i.e. destroys the good deeds, just as the fire consumes the firewood. So, that's why our heart should be always clean of all these wrong things. In the hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah inna fil jasad mudghah, idha salahat salah al jasad kullu. Be awa, there is a piece of flesh in the body. If it is correct, if it is pure, whole body is correct and pure. Wa idha fasadat, fasad al jasad kullu. And when, once it is rotten, whole body is rotten. And Allah wa hiya al qalb, and that, be aware, that is the heart, our mind, our heart. Another hadith Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Inna Allah la yandri ila suwarikum wa la ila ajsamikum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't look at your appearance, at your good dress, all this, how yourself coming out by beautifully dressed. This is not the main thing Allah is looking for. And how fit is your body, that is not main one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is looking for. وَلَكِنْ يَنْذُرُ إِلَىٰ قُلُوبِكُمْ وَأَعْمَالِكُمْ Rather, he looks at your hearts and your actions, how you are making your heart is clean through all these good deeds and good intention. The Sahaba asked in the same hadith, فَمَنْ عَلَىٰ أَثَرِهِ so who is on each sign that my heart is clean and pure? Is there any sign? Qala alladhi yashna'u dunya wa yuhibbu al-akhira. Then he said, who is not so eager in the worldly achievements, worldly life only, rather he, he loves, he focuses more about hereafter. Akhira oriented. Qila fiman ala atharihi. He ask again, who is on each sign, how we can uh, just uh, judge that our self is having taqwa and we are motivated for akhirah. Then he said, qala mu'minun fi khuluqin hasan. A true believer whose character is good. And good character has two areas. One between us and Allah. That you obey Allah, you fear Allah, you don't commit anything sin, don't disobey him. Other one is how we deal and behave with others causing harm to them, being jealous about them. All corruption is two area. And that is the real, the second area came in hadith, al-birru husnul khuluq. The true righteousness is the good character, good conduct, good behavior with others. When Sahabi Jarir ibn Abdullah radiallahu anhu came to take shahada, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know, made covenant with him, he said, بَايَعَتُ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ عَلَىٰ إِقَامِ الصَّلَاةِ وَإِيْتَاءِ الزَّكَاءِ وَالنَّصْحِ لِكُلِّ مُسْلِمِ He said, I made my covenant with the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم to take shahada on the observance of salah, payment of zakah, charity, and wishing well for every Muslim. So, brothers and sisters, heart's ibadah is much more rewardful than the physical one. His heart is clean, physical ibadah is surely accepted. If there is something wrong in our heart, even though we do so much ibadah and hajj and umrah and nafal fasting, nafal salawat, all these, but we have problem in our hearts, we're against, turning against people, we have jealousy, we have all this ill feeling, then this ibadah will be wasted, it will be lost totally in akhirah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of purifying our heart. Allahumma ati nufusana taqwaaha wa zakkiha. Anta khayru man zakkaha. Anta waliha maulaha. Barakallahu li wa lakum fi al-Qur'an al-Azim. Wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bima fihi min al-ayat wa dhikr al-Hakim. Wa aqul qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum. Wa lisa'iri al-Muslimina min kulli dhamm. Fa astaghfiru wa atubu ilayhi. Innahu huwa al-Ghafur Rahim.